John Spurley Shalley was an English actor. He had an extensive television career but is best known for portraying Terence Albury Boise Boyce in the long-running BBC television sitcom Only Fools and Horses and its sequel-slash-spin-off The Green Green Grass, as well as Monty Staines from the seventh series onwards in the ITV sitcom Benidorm, from 2015 to 2018. Shalley was born in Bristol but that the family moved to southeast London when he was one year old. He grew up in Epsom, after the family moved to Surrey. Shalley attended the state boarding Ottershaw School near Woking, Surrey. After leaving school, he worked as a trainee estate agent. An early television role was in the gangster drama Big Breadwinner Hogg in 1969, and between 1971 and 1975 he made regular appearances in Z Cars as Sergeant Culshaw. The Richard Beckinsale sitcom Bloomers was written about Shalley's experience working at a garden center while taking a break from acting. Shalley was best known for playing Herman Terence Aubrey Boise Boyce in Only Fools and Horses. The series writer, John Sullivan, also created a spin-off for Shalley, The Green Green Grass. The outdoor scenes of The Green Green Grass were filmed at his then home, surrounding fields and local villages. His other television appearances include Dixon of Doc Green, Thriller, The Sweeney, Doctor Who, Dracula, Beau Jest, Juliet Bravo, Coronation Street, Bloomers, Citizen Smith, Ever Decreasing Circles, Doctor Snuggles, Chance in a Million, The Bill, One Foot in the Grave, Open All Hours, The New Statesman, Don't Wait Up, Soldier Soldier, Brass Eye, My Family, In Sickness and in Health, Benidorm, and Heartbeat. In the 2008 series of Last of the Summer Wine he guest-starred as a fake jewel thief trying to impress the ladies. During Shalley's appearance in the Channel 4 mockumentary television program Brass Eye, he was tricked into believing Clive Anderson had been shot by Noel Edmonds. On BBC Radio, he played an interrogator in the play Rules of Asylum by James Follett, broadcast by BBC Radio 4 in 1973. He also played Dibden Perlew in Getting Nowhere Fast from 2001 to 2004. In 2006 he took a cameo role in BBC's The Impressionists as station master Gar St. Lazazo. In 2012, he became the narrator of the National Geographic Channel series Strippers, Cars for Cash. He became an honorary citizen of Serbia, where only fools and horses remains hugely popular. Shalley made the documentary Boise in Belgrade, exploring why the show was so beloved in the Balkan country. Shalley had a number of stage roles, including with the Royal Shakespeare Company in the 1960s and the National Theatre. In 1995 he performed in open-air performances of Richard III and A Midsummer Night's Dream, staged in Regent's Park in London. He starred in pantomime at the Plaza Theatre in Stockport as Captain Hook in Peter Pan, a role he reprised in 2018 at the Theatre Royal, Nottingham. He also appeared in pantomime at Western Playhouse in winter 2011-12 playing Ebenezer in Aladdin and as King Rat in Dick Whittington at the Plaza Theatre in Stockport over Christmas 2013 and New Year 2014. In 2013 Shalley occasionally contributed to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Live tour as the narrator. In 2014, Shalley began a theatre tour of his one-man show titled Only Fools and Boise, which charted his life before, during and after his time as Boise. Shalley was married to his fourth wife, Carol. They wed in Brighton in 1990 and since 1998 had lived in the Abbot's lodgings at Wigmore Abbey Grange, Adverton, Herefordshire. Shalley had no children. Two of his previous wives were actresses Debbie Arnold and Sabina Franklin. His first wife, Carol Robertson, a member of a dynastic theatre family, was a BBC producer, they were married from 1965 to 1966. Shalley was a patron of the British Hedgehog Preservation Society. He was an Arsenal supporter. Shalley wrote two volumes of autobiography, Being Boise and Boise and Beyond. In 2016, he wrote Wigmore Abbey, The Treasure of Mortimer about the renovation of his house's gardens. Shalley died on 19 September 2021, aged 79, after a long battle with cancer.